Hello, I truly hope that you watching this right now with me are doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. It's going to be a no-nonsense, to the point, professional, accurate and concise analysis. It's here for what you love and that is the trades, it's the charts and uh, also of course winning as much trade as possible. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you that good, good information today. Uh, we're going to be going through in a, you know, a non-emotional, you know, thorough analysis. So uh, get strapped in, get out the notepads if you're feeling up to it. And uh, yeah, that's just as mentioned, get into what you're here for. And it's that love and passion that we share of the charts and today on Bitcoin. So uh, the last time I made a video uh, here on the public was on this section of the chart. OK, we were around around here. And at the time, we obviously had, well, still our resistance above us at 25,200. And we had a support level down around here of an NPOC of the next level below us, right? So it kind of looked a little bit like this. We had the NPOC marked out. We had the top of the channel. And for me, there was a setup to come to fruition. Uh, not everybody's going to know about this because it's not one that I talk about much in the public very much. Uh, but if you're in the group, then you know about this setup. It's called the third touch setup that we've got. And this is a, a rise up into a third touch bearish setup. Um, so for me, you know, trading the charts, it's a trade that I'm going to take every day of the week. OK, this. Well, actually, no, not every day. Maybe not every day of the week I'll take that trade because it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a trade that I don't take too often. But it was on the weekend. It was a fairly nice move up into the level and it was a 0.3% risk. So. For me, that was a short trade off of a third touch setup, okay? And this is kind of what it looks like. So here we have the third touch, and this is a bearish uh, setup. And you can see below us, we have this NPOC down here as our first marked out level of support. And you can see the very high of that third touch setup was in fact the case. And where did we move down to? Right onto the NPOC zone, right? So it's like here I say, accuracy is my middle name. I just wish I could pronounce it. <laughs> Another winning short trade in the bag for CC Pool. And now those shorts are going into longs. Now long inside of this triangle. Okay, so really simply, we actually come down and we did tap that NPOC. I've explained this in a lot of detail during my Champions live stream already in the daily update this morning. But yeah, this level is actually classed as tapped. Um, and just so you're aware, that that on trading view looks like it's tapped, but when you're using 50 ticks, that level was hit absolutely perfectly for the low. And from here, we had our lovely triangle to be trading after that reaction. Okay. And so yesterday, I was saying to my team, uh, I actually want to see another push above 25,300. Okay. I was bullish at the time. And I think this is sometimes something that people struggle to get their mind and around that sometimes I can, be like, I can be saying at this moment in time, right, yesterday around 10 a.m., you know, I am bullish. I am looking for higher. What you have to understand, please, as a, you know, a person watching this video right now, my sentiment can be this. I can say here at 24,500, yes, I am bullish. I want to see higher. I want to see above 25,300. So I'm bullish for that much of the chart. And then when my target of 23 sorry, 25,300 hits, I can turn bearish. So I have these sort of mini biases, day trading biases, right, uh, up to target. And yesterday it was kind of simple. I wanted to see a push above 25,300 and I was bullish for this target, which essentially was looking for another take of these highs in kind of a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. So this is from a champion's live stream. But I've been very much focused on this idea of, Take out the high one more time. Obviously, we have those sort of triple highs now of the third touch setup. And it's a simple case of coming above the high, taking out that high and dropping back down. It's like I wrote here on Twitter, you know, did someone say swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern at 25,300 incoming? Yes, yes, they did. CC pool to get another short trade setup from 25,300. Long the lows, short the highs, all in a normal day. <laughs> FYI, I love this reply from Scott. That's the pool. The name's pool. Hashtag CC pool, <laughs> you know it. Um, but yeah, that really brings us up to, to where we are here, right? We had the swing failure pattern of 25,300 this morning around 8.30 a.m. Um, so, the, you know, this is, you know, it's got to be aware of these levels. You know, for me, this was a short setup 
and we got that short setup. So trade the charts, you got to take it. And it was actually perfect timing as we went into another daily update <laughs> this morning. Uh, but yeah, from here, we now have some clear levels to be playing with. Okay, the first, that was a what five minute introduction, talking you through why we put in this high. This is off of a third touch setup. I will say if you want to educate yourself on that, then you can come into the course, you can come into advanced strategies, and you can study the third touch setup. Welcome okay. to this contenders. That's if you want to know about it. Uh, for everybody else, that's why we put in this side, third touch setup. From that third touch setup, we had the NPOC as a major level below us. That level was hit, and we had in confluence the top of this, what well, we had the triangle forming. From here, third touch setup high, NPOC bounce, wanting to see 25,300 taken out. Getting that taken out, we formed another swing failure pattern. And for me, that is a short, this time, yes, every day of the week. The third touch setup is kind of a rare setup for me. It's not every day I'm taking this, but swing failure patterns, uh, this is my bread and butter. <laughs> this is a trade that I love. And this is a trade that I'm taking pretty much every day of the week. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can sell, tell you why this high was put in, why this low was put in, and why this high was put in. And even better, I can trade it. Currently in the short trade from this swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern at their $25,300. Okay, so I'm in that short trade at the moment. From here, we've obviously seen today uh, the stock market taking a bit of a plunge, and naturally that's aided Bitcoin of this move to the downside. You know, it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all uh, bearishness. We are still currently with inside a ascending triangle. So of course, we can be looking for these higher lows to continue and a simple break out of this triangle. I would always say, you know, some people will say, oh yeah, ascending triangles are always bullish and descending triangles are always bearish. I would approach this pattern as a 50-50. You know, we have just as much likelihood of breaking up as we're breaking down. So I would treat this as a neutral pattern and just acknowledge we are within this pattern, okay? If we break up outside of this triangle, well, then we can be looking back towards, actually, towards $27,000. And if we break down from here, well, we can then be looking back towards $23,000. So it's a simple case now of we have a really nice, well-respected pattern, okay? We have two lovely touch points of the bottom. We have three absolutely lovely touch points of the top. And now we can wait to see which way this breaks. If we start to break down, we can look towards 23K. Okay, we can be aware of this daily, to be fair, yeah. And if we break up, well, we can be looking for the target at 27K. I would always be aware of a fake out, which means slightly taking the low, and reversing or slightly taking the high and reversing. This is something as a trader, we gotta be aware of these fake outs. But if we're looking for a clean break, then yeah, we'd be looking back down towards 23K and a clean break of the highs towards $27,000. For me, uh, I think you can kind of tell, right? I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not anxious. I'm not excited. I'm not euphoric. I'm not scared. I'm not worried. I, I approach this emotionless. Um, you know, in a positive way, right? This is a positive to be as a trader. You know, I have no desires of this market. I have no wants. I have no needs. I just, um, in a short trade, if this drops, so be it. I'll be looking towards 23K. If this rises and I get stopped out that short, so be it. I'll look towards $27,000. This, how you see me now, is the level of trading I want to get you to. Because if you are emotional, if you're worried, if you're scared, if you're overanalyzing the charts, if you're scared to press the trigger of fear of losing a trade, you simply are not at the level you need to be at yet. And my goal, as well as the, the other coaches at Chart Champions, is to get you to this level where you can just simply come onto the charts, do your technical analysis, mark out your levels, and take your trades. Okay? There should no be... There should be no worriedness or scaredness or fear. It's just we can win or we can lose, right? We can absolutely take losses and we will take losses in this market. So when you fully comprehend and not only comprehend, but actually accept the fact that every trade that we can take has a risk, 
Yeah, we are essentially paying to take the risk to win some money or we, you know, the risk is losing some money. But we cannot make money trading if we are not prepared to have a risk of losing money. It's only once we've fully accepted that risk that we can start to, you know, look forwards to make money. Because most people come into trading, you know, they, it's all well and good saying, oh yeah, I'm prepared to lose this, but then they clo close out their trades early, they take profits way too quickly because they're actually scared of losing their money. So you have to fully accept that and let a trade play out before you can actually move forwards in trading. The, you know, the psychological barrier is, is um, you know, very, very difficult to get past. I, I, I went through this, yeah, been trading, you know, I don't want to bang on about it, but I've been going on nearly 13 years now. I can assure you, you know, during my first, you know, three years of a trader, I was not anything like I am today. You know, I went through those sleepless nights. I had anxiety, you know, I'd wake up in the middle of the night. First thing I want to do is check my phone, see what's happening. You know, I'd struggle to sleep through what's Bitcoin doing? What's Bitcoin doing? Or at the time, it was more the stock market. But, you know, I'd be thinking about what, what my stock's doing, what my investment's doing, you know. You know, just waking up, losing a trade, having that sick feeling. I remember really well, you know, I'd lose a trade and I'd literally feel sick to my stomach and just think, oh, my God, I'm so stupid. I'm so bad at trading. This is really annoying. Like, I would feel all that emotions, right? So I, I, I totally, totally understand how you watching this could be in that situation. You know, you're scared to take the trade. You're scared to click the trigger. You know, you, you feel sick when you miss a trade. You feel sick when you take a trade and it loses. And you think, oh my God, why always me? Everything I do, I just keep losing. You know, I've went through that. So I can totally comprehend and, you know, feel for you in that regards. Because it's something I truly believe that we've all been through as a trader. Anyone that hasn't gone through that, well, I guess they haven't spent enough time in trading because <laughs> it's it's normal, right? It's normal. And, you know, my aim now is I've gone through this and I've overcome it. And, you know, by teaching you this, you know, even just focusing on the psychology here, just talking you through it, okay, you know, and letting you understand that myself, the other great traders, we've all gone through this. You ask Rivalry, you ask Severin, you ask Igor, you know, they're, they're going to have gone through the same. And now it's our job as your coach to, well, of course, give you some levels and give you some analysis, but also show you, talk you through, reminding every every single day we have live streams, right? So it's every day coming onto the charts, giving you our analysis, you know, prepping you for the day, getting you ready for the day, and then, you know, trading it alongside you. And so for me, yeah, it's important to, um, you know, bringing it back to the chart that we have right now, you know, I'm not scared of a massive drop and I'm not euphoric of a massive rise. I am emotionless in my charts, in my analysis, and saying to myself, hey, I have a triangle here. If we break down, I can hold on to my short and I'll look for lower. Otherwise, we have locally today the VWAP as resistance, which sits very nicely on the range point of control. So I can say, if we reclaim this range point of control of the VWAP, we could have put in a low here, which was actually off of a daily. We have just hit a daily on Bitcoin, by the way. Um, for the people with the knowledge of how to mark those levels out, then you will know we've just hit a daily, pretty much to the dollar. And if we start to reclaim the range point of control of the VWAP, then actually we can start to increase the probabilities of this pushing up again to the upside. Okay, We'll always be aware of potential fake outs. We can always take the high one more time and swing failure pattern, the swing failure pattern, the swing failure pattern. Um, so we're aware of those type of fake outs. But at the end of the day, we have to acknowledge we got the bigger targets in play um, as long as we hold that support when it's flipped. OK, so that means we break the level holding it as support, not just straight up and down. This is clearly a visible rejection. I mean, even the most basic of trading knowledge, you can recognize that's a shooting star candle, right? That's a bearish rejection. You can't look at that candle and think, oh, this is bullish. So even with the basic of knowledge, you can see, well, that's a bearish candle, right? That's a swing failure pattern. That's a short trade. From here, we've had a nice move down, as one would expect as a trader. From here, we can be looking for another touch of the triangle low or a simple breakdown. Whatever happens next, it's fine. Nothing to be worried or scared about. It's as I've said before. Mark out your levels. Do your technical analysis. Check the reaction. Take the trade. I will tell you this before I wrap up. I've been working extremely hard 
uh, on preparing the new Exo desktop templates. I've had a lot of glitches and <laughs> things to work with, but I've finally got these, how I really believe is very nicely set up. So um, yeah, if you wanna check out the new Exo templates, these will be finalized this week and released to all of the champions and contenders on chartchampions.com. Okay, so that you've got something to look forward to as well. I've put in oh, easily 60, 70 hours um, for, for these templates. So yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna be good, I'll just say that. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see my templates, you've got obviously Atus templates, Exo templates, got all the cheat sheets as well. You got the new trading journal. Of course, we understand the importance of journaling, statistics keeping, you know, just keeping your mind set on the goals, set on the plans. And the best way to stick to your plans is by having a journal. We've now got a full inbuilt journal on our website. Of course, we've got the speed run of every module we've released. And, you know, the bigger factor of the course is you've got the courses from beginner to the master level as TPO and advanced strategies. So if you want to get in on that, you know what to do, chartchampions.com. If you want to follow us along in the day, then you know what to do. That's also chartchampions.com, champions level. That's where you get our trading updates. I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. And yeah, After. I guess I will uh, <laughs> see you over in the Discord or on the website. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly hope that this has been helpful for you. And at least, at the very least, I have calmed you down and given you a voice of reason of how to approach this market. Thank you ever so much once again. And I will sign out. Cheers, everybody. I love you and goodbye. Cheers.